Thank you, and good evening, all. Hello, and welcome to a new reality. Your reality, a turning point where changing climate is no longer an abstract threat lurking our distinct future. It's upon us. We feel it, we see it, in our extensive rain and extensive fire, and also our ever racing sea level. With that comes a new reality and urgency of acting upon it. We have now 11 years to halve our emissions globally. If we want to prevent our temperature raise from 1.5 degrees to 2 degrees, essentially, as per pre-industrial era. Ever since the Paris Agreement was signed five years back, climate charts have been racing on top and still racing and smashing new records every month and every year. The hottest five years has been recorded in the previous last five years, and no time in our history have ever carbon emission this high as we feel today. I finally realized something, that we are not treating our home as our home. And the only reason we couldn't admit it because of our luxuries, privileges, that which we don't want to leave around. As the impact of climate change worsened across the globe, including in our own countries, young people have started paying attention to the news across the Arab world. Mainstreaming climate change is one of the issues we face in this part of the world. A diverse group of young people has branded in Qatar to ensure that climate change and broader environmental issues are brought to a mainstream. Also to encourage young and youth to come up with ideas and necessary interventions that need to protect our environment for the future generation. Consequently, Arab Youth Climate Movement Qatar was established to create a network of environmentalists in a way forward so that we build our country in a more conscious and environment-friendly way. For the last four years, Arab Youth Climate Movement Qatar, was, which I co-founded back in 2015, have been actively engaging with civil society groups in Qatar and the region and also other stakeholders. OSCM comes when climate change was not a buzzword in the state, but when it was one of the event or an issue which is going to be catastrophic for the future generation. As of today, Arab Youth Climate Movement Qatar moved far away from a small non-profit organization in the country to attending UN Youth Climate Summit representing the state. As hundreds of thousands of young people marching across the globe participating in the school climate strike, demanding for action on climate change, heeding by the call by the Swedish teenager, Greta Thunberg, Arab youths are not behind. We are in the forefront trying to change the narrative of climate education and environmental sustainability in our region too. There's no difference. We are here voicing for the climate education and awareness as a central to our strategic initiative following the global call for climate action. For the GCC countries, climate change has been traditionally covered as a foreign news with a focus on international climate negotiation with little relevance to local readership. What young people in the Arab world can do is to help tireless to, to bring ideas that can help the country to move towards a conscious society, which is so much critical for our survival survival of the humanity. Only then they will take care of it and nurture it, which is necessary for human survival. We aim to address this issue by focusing on climate awareness from the grassroots level, targeting the young and adults who has to be well informed about their environment and why its survival is important for our future generation. We also try to bring up cost-effective ideas and solutions that are very much relevant to the local environment and also to the culture. We'll further strive to develop scientific and environmental uh, ideas that can foster our understanding of our environment, which is too critical on humanity's survival. Today, almost after four years of Paris Agreement signing, 
We look back to science and climate scientists who find it's still possible to limit our global temperature rise to 1.5 and additionally 2 degrees Celsius, technically. We can also see it's possible to hold the catastrophic impacts of climate change, like sea level raising or extinction of species and also to mass migration. In any case, the world will see a change which is necessary. We fully have to decarbonize our society and our economy by 2050 in order to curb the impacts of climate change. What need is to nothing less than greatest transformation ever since the Industrial Revolution. People would have seen things or heard in one form or the other that global warming isn't caused by humans. We heard it every day. You see on news, on Twitter feeds, on Facebook feeds. But climate change that occurred might be it's happening across the time, which is normal, which is normal. There are different opinions, theories, and knowledge that indicates climate change it might be, may not be, but the reality is the climate change is happening and the problem is we are ever dependent on the fossil fuels. And if you want to read against the fake news, like this one you see on me behind, is to need of getting together with the science, only then we can define climate change is a real issue and also to break the climate skepticism, which is necessary. The good news is, today, fewer and fewer young people like us don't doubt overwhelming climate evidence that climate change is happening, including the people in the Arab world, that by burning fossil fuels, which we are used for our energy, humans have put so much of carbon into the atmosphere that they are changing our natural ecosystem and how it used to run. The interconnection between the human species has been at uh, an ideal aid that we may lose our even survival. The scientists are certain that we can radically transform how we use our energy and how we can use it to mitigate the damages caused by climate change. As the environmental activism entered its new era with activism and science so much clear that fewer and fewer young people and youths are aware that climate change is one of the issues we are facing. With recent IPCC report and biodiversity report, science is 100% clear that we are heading towards a catastrophe unless we mitigate. But one thing is clear, and the idea is simple, we all need to work together in cooperation. A cooperation, one other, that overall voices from across the globe, including from our Arab world, can hear. That our young people are clearly asking our governments and cooperation to hear and listen to us young people. The bottom line is this. Climate change is affecting you, me, everybody here and across the globe that we can fix it by working together. By working shoulder to shoulder, we can fix it. Yes, it is. It's a daunting problem. Nobody knows more than our climate scientists who keeps telling that the science is never before is clearer about climate change than past. But we cannot lose to hopelessness, but what we can do is go out and actively look for hope that we need, that will inspire us and you to start an ideas that can transform or revolutionize our life forever. The best thing is to do is to start your conversation. Talk about it to your people. What you can do is start that conversation right to your right now. We are in the midst of a reality, a new reality, that the action, what we take today, will dictate your entire life because our world depends on it. Thank you.